Ladies and gentlemen, here we are today, still in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. As uh, we uh, have a nice fillet knife, as you can see. So we're gonna fillet fish. And we usually start at the tail of the fish. Watch your fingers at all times. And then we're gonna start down here as this. And we take the knife and go along the backbone of the fish. So as you see here, this is how I kind of do it. I know there's probably different different techniques that everybody else does. But I don't like actually filleting fish, but Vernon wanted to show how to fillet, wanted to learn how to fillet. But as you can see, if you don't get it all the way down to the backbone, you can waste a lot of the meat. Me and myself, I just would have fried the fish like this. Now this is not my best thing. I mean, not, I'm not a fillet master. But, see as you see the rib bones in here, all them, you're going to want to be careful and just kind of stay away from those and cut towards the, around the belly of the fish. There we go, as you come down there, you go, and then here is a nice fillet. I mean, it's not the best fillet, but it's something if you don't know how to do, it'll work. It'll work for you. Best way to learn how to know how is to practice. So we'll start over here in the back of the tail again as we cut in. And we'll go along the backbone down this side. So be careful of your fingers at all times. Because, like I said, fingers are very important to have. Uh, so we're down here. And once again, we'll cut down as far as we can along the backbone slicing only to be careful of the bones and the ribs can you chunk out the rest of those pieces for like nuggets no there's not enough there to even mess with I see the smaller fish that we caught yesterday we will be keeping intact and not filleting there we go sorry that's again but you get a nice good idea and then of course you're always gonna have to watch out for bones See the bones, the tip of the bones are in here. But once you cook them, see there, that's nothing to be, that get that in your throat. But every time, always be careful when you're eating fish. And there's their nice little filet. All right. Okay, so now that we have filleted out the fish and the smaller fish, we are not going to filet. We're going to show you how to fry them up. Um, I like to use a gas stove, but you have to go with whatever you have available to you. You can use vegetable oil, you can use shortening, um, whatever is your choice. Go ahead and start heating up your uh, fish. Um, I like to use a deep fryer at times, but like I said, you have to go with what you have available to you. So now that we have our fish, they have been soaking throughout the night in some salt water, we are going to prepare we're the- We rinsed the fish several times through the Rinsed them very, a, a couple times. We're gonna make the batter. Okay, so I have my assistant here. Say he also hi. helped catch the fish. His name is Keaton. Keaton, and what tribe are you from? What tribe? Oh. Second on Chippewa, uh, Mount Pleasant. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a half um, cornmeal and half flour um, batter. Um, so I'm pouring in the cornmeal now. So we have um, half cornmeal, and then we're gonna take half flour. I don't know why, but this is the way I was taught, so this is the way I will teach you. We don't really measure too much around here, we just eyeball it. So let's mix those together. And then I have some spices here. We have garlic powder, we have onion powder, we have parsley flakes, lemon pepper seasoning, um, and we have garlic salt. Be careful when you are adding your seasonings that some of the um, seasonings these days, like for instance, the garlic has salt in it as well. So um, you don't want to double salt your uh, batter here. So I'm just going to use regular garlic powder first and just dump it in as much or as little as you would like. Okay, hold on. We have parsley here. You can use Italian seasonings. That gives it a nice little green. Um, 
I just should kill them. Sometimes you run into um, situations where we have a lot of moisture and the seasonings may clump, but we don't throw them away. We're just simply going to improvise and crumble up the garlic powder by hand.